we really love aquariums. Like one of the things that we visit, no matter where we go, whatever country we do, is an aquarium. So we were really excited when they expanded to this larger facility, especially compared to the Indian South. We practically lived at that one, but this one is amazing. I mean, what I'm really excited about are the programs that you have for the classes and the summer programs. Because, you know, being landlocked in Utah, you didn't think there'd be a lot of opportunity for them to learn about the oceans and, you know, aquariums and things like that. So to have them be able to go through classes from elementary all the way, as you said, to college, that sounds really exciting. Well, our kids grew up with the aquarium, even though before it moved, and so it's really exciting to see the growth and all the animals that are coming here. We've never had an aquarium like this size and this amazing in Utah, so it's very cool to see. And as a parent, I'm really excited to see the classrooms and what kind of opportunities our children will be able to have and what they'll be able to learn. We are very excited about it because we love the aquarium, so anything that's adding more to it, we can't wait to see it. Well, I'm really honestly excited about the classrooms and the educational opportunities for the high schoolers. Anything that gives them a head start into a career is really actually very wonderful. Um, someday she will be involved in that. This is money well spent um, because you are not only <laughs> preserving the environment and the life on the planet, but you're educating future generations. I loved it. I, I think personally the vision of it is it's great. The architecture of like reflecting the mountains and then just the space and, and the ability to, to network and, and have more opportunities to to uh, have uh, events. It's pretty cool too. I thought it's amazing because years ago I remember going to the building on the east side. It was all fit in the ballroom. It was so tiny and it's nice to see how much you grow. It's wonderful. She loved the camps that they did. She did a summer camp and she loved it. And so we're excited about this to see if there's more programs that she can do. We've been members for about on and off since 2015. Actually, this was one of the places that was still open that we could come to during the pandemic. So we were really happy about that. At least for me and the kids, I know that we love that it's growing. We like to see all the new exhibits and I like the outdoor plaza because then the kids can still run and play and learn as we're here. So it's nice to have something somewhere they can go. I'm excited for it. Um, you know, we have our membership here because the two kids, we homeschool. So this is a big part of them getting out of the house and going and doing and learning, you know, outside the home. So it um, seems like what's being brought here is gonna be really cool and it's gonna benefit them and I'm sure they'll enjoy it. Thank you for donating and making this possible for people. I, Utah didn't have a lot for a long time. We just had Hogle Zoo. So when the aquarium was small down just a couple blocks away, we still even went then. It was really nice, but I'm so glad that it's getting bigger and there's more things to see. And it's, I feel like price wise too, it's really easy for a family to be able to come. So we, we like that. So thank you for all the donors and all the people who put in all the time to make it bigger and better. We've been members of the aquarium for the last three years. And even before that, we came here all the time. We are very excited for the educational aspect. Um, my daughter has actually come here for a Girl Scout activity, and we had so much fun and learned so much, and she benefited from it so much, but there needed to be more space, you know? And so we're really excited that this is gonna give that opportunity. To everyone that has donated or become a member like us, thank you. Uh, it's only because of a community that we're able to make this happen and we're able to better enrich our aquarium, which I personally think enriches all of us. The more we learn about our oceans and our rivers and our water, the better we're able to take care of it for the next generation and beyond. So thank you. I'd like to also thank the design professionals and the construction team that's helping to put this together. They're taking a vision and, and making it a reality. We love the aquarium. More binturongs! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> well, just keep doing the right thing. You yeah. guys are awesome. Yeah, just keep doing what you're doing. We love it here. Every year it gets better. Every time we come, we enjoy ourselves. I mean, we've been here countless times, and every time we have a wonderful experience. Uh, that is the one of the best things I can say about this facility, is that it's fresh every time. Yeah. It's a great experience every time. My sibling has a membership, so we've been able to tag along and come to fun events and things. And with the, a toddler, it's just going to be awesome to uh, let him see things and learn as he grows up. And 
and we love fish in my house. I love the new building. I think it's gonna be such a great opportunity for different people and kids to learn and grow and really good for the community to have that kind of space to do those things. I really like all aquatic animals. So having such a big fish tank, especially one exclusive to the event space is very cool. And I'm really excited to attend an event so I can check that out. I would say keep doing what you're doing. We love taking advantage of people who were here before us and uh, being able to enjoy the things that they helped pay for and, and see that our money could go to something just as phenomenal. I love the entire like freshwater exhibit downstairs with the otters and the salamanders and the toads. Just that whole like downstairs Utah exhibit is I think my favorite. I love coming to see the penguins every time. They're just so fun to watch. You can sit there for an hour and watch them hang out. I personally am very impressed and very excited. I knew that it was being built, but I didn't expect it to be so cool and also very, yeah, I just, it's very cool. I don't know, I'm very, very excited for it. I think it'll be awesome. I think it looks super cool. I think a lot of the like designs and the halls and things are just awesome. And I'm super excited for the exhibits too. I think that'll be a lot of fun to see. For starters, we talked about how many more classrooms and how many more like just the outreach it's gonna have. And I think that in itself is gonna have a great impact on the community. Just being able to influence the like younger generation to make an impact as they get older. And I think the Science Learning Center is a great place to start because you'll be able to bring all those new kids in and ex get them excited about the aquarium and nature. I think it's, yeah, I think it'll be a really good, have a really good impact on the, on the community. I think it will be awesome just for kids to show them how cool nature and wildlife is at that early of an age. I think it will make it a lot easier for kids to get excited about our environment and the nature that we have around us and it will encourage them to grow up wanting to protect that. I'm excited for the playground. I'm excited for the um, the learning labs and the things that the kids can do there. It doesn't matter like what age group we have, um, kids that are from second grade to high school age and so I think it's really cool that it's going to be something that will allow more outreach to um, a lot more students and also that it can service kids no matter how young or how old they are. I think that's really cool that each age group will find something that's interesting and learn something at their level. I think it's amazing that it's going to really increase that capacity to serve so many more students. We awesome. live in an area actually where we have a lot of um, families that don't leave our zip code and so um, I think it's going to be really nice for kids to be able to have these these opportunities that maybe they wouldn't normally have. Um, I love the binturongs. I think they're just kind of funny and cute. Um, I really like the penguins. Um, our first Valentine's to together, we came here and watched the penguins make rock necks. <laughs> it was really cute. Um, I love the clouded leopards. Like they are super super endangered. So the fact that we have access to one of them here is really, really kind of a treat. I'm appreciative that we have a lot more space. Like obviously when we roam around the aquarium, like one of the concerns that I always have is like, do the animals have a large enough enclosure for like their size? And so having an expanded exhibit for like the clouded leopards, Komodo dragons and things like that, I think is essential. I mean, I am a huge fan of educating about different types of animals, about conservation responsibility. Like the fact that there are so many more opportunities for people to come and realize how we're affecting the world around us and how we're interacting with all of these other life forms that also need homes. I think that's really important. I'm a bit more pragmatic. Like the fact that we can have an outreach program for like the University of Utah, BYU, SLIC, whatever, where we can expand course offerings and allow more people to stay in state for an education that might take them out of state, I think would be greatly beneficial.